Yo, what's up guys? Today we got the 12.6 patch for Fortnite Battle Royale, and along with it, we've gotten a pretty good amount of leaks for the event, and some other leaks that I think will shock you as well. We're gonna go over all of it, of course, to make sure you're fully in the know with everything going on in the world of Fortnite, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new, and if you haven't already, be sure to put in code PINEAPPLESYT in the Fortnite item shop to support me so I can continue giving out free stuff in my live streams, Discord games, and in my channel in general. So, a lot of you guys may know a skin by the name of Recon Expert. It's one of the most rare skins in the game, and it has not been in the game for 921 days. That's a very long time for sure. With this update this morning, there was a new style added for the Recon Expert. And typically when stuff like this happens, it means that this skin or a skin will be coming back in the near future. Otherwise, why would they be putting the style out? This happened very recently for Power Cord, as a matter of fact. This skin is really plain, really simple, but also really clean. And honestly reminds me a lot of the Renegade Raider. Obviously not by the look, but just by the rarity of it. Because it's up there with the Renegade Raider. And I'm really excited for the possibility the likely possibility of this coming back and I've got a question for you in the comments section if it comes back which it probably will based on all indications will you be copying and if you do use code pineapplesyt for free cookies so this next bit of info comes to you courtesy of Hypex over on Twitter and basically he says Fortnite will trigger three event flags very soon number one the doomsday device will be gone from Midas's room and then maybe will be placed somewhere in the map as the picture shows below. Number two is the event countdown and number three is something called key delivery calendar event. We really don't know what that's about. As you can see in the background of the graphic shown here, there is no doomsday device. Why that is, we really don't know. Now, for a little while there, there was some speculation about whether or not this thing would actually be moved, and if it was going to be moved to somewhere on the map where it would go, but Hypex later clarified that it was simply a mistake. Correction, on my previous Doomsday leak, it won't be moved. The game tries to load a new mesh in effects, but it fails since they are either encrypted or will be added in the next update. That's why it doesn't show the device in Midas's room, but here are some interesting files slash effects it tries to load. If you take a look at the game's coding supply here in the tweet it says energy wave slash in device energy wave slash on prong machine the line at the top says game slash athena slash apollo slash environments slash building actor slash agency slash fritter as if the event wasn't confirmed enough now it is pretty much locked in that this thing is going to happen and we're finally going to get our first storyline related Fortnite event in over six months. So in the coming weeks, we are going to get an event countdown that's going to be above the agency. How do I know this? Well, it's actually been leaked. You can see the exact location of the countdown. The countdown timer you see here is not live in the game yet. It's not accurate. It's simply a depiction of where it is going to be. It's been such a long time since we've had a countdown like this for something as hyped up as this is because, I mean, yeah, the Travis Scott concert was hyped, don't get me wrong, and other events have been hyped too, but nothing gets you quite like a storyline event, a lore event, where the map is going to undergo a likely change, we're going to set ourselves up for the next season, with what we think is going to be a massive flood. Now, if you take a look at the leaks I showed you from Hypex just a second ago, it says energy waves. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but... Taking it with a grain of salt, it says waves in there, so I wonder if there's going to be a massive tsunami or massive wave that comes in off the coast of the map that floods everything. That's a possibility. Another possibility is something that has been spotted in the map, in the game, after today's update. And I want you guys to go and check after I tell you what it is, and let me know if you see it in game as well. So all over Reddit and all over social media, people are posting about this ring cloud appearing right above the agency, which of course is going to be where the event is likely taking place. Now these are not just normal Fortnite storm clouds. You can see many clouds that are not purple forming around the agency, and there is a lightning. There is actually sounds to the stuff in game, and it's actually really interesting. So another possibility besides just the wave is possibly a giant rainstorm that just pours down over the course of a couple days, slowly flooding the map up until full capacity, and then that's when the next season could start. 
It's a truly great time to be a Fortnite gamer right now. Just a lot of hype for the first time in a while about the storyline. I'm not going to lie. Chapter 2 has been very slow with the lore. Chapter 1 for a majority of the seasons was very quick, very rapid, and very interesting. And this is the first time since Chapter 2 has started that I have been fully hooked into the storyline like I was in Chapter 1. So I'm just unbelievably excited about this event. Hopefully the countdown will go up in the next week or two. I don't know when the event exactly is going to happen, but we're just waiting on any bit of information we can get and the second I find out more I will make a video letting you guys know and updating you on all the latest information so thank you all so so much for watching let me know your theories in the comment section down below if you've got any ideas that you'd like to be featured in the next video I would love to shout you out make sure you let me know or tweet me either one works I'll catch you in the next video take it easy and peace out guys stay safe out there